everyone, welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we will be discussing numerical problems on monopoly equilibrium. So, let's first understand what is monopoly equilibrium. So, the condition for monopoly equilibrium is So, we have two conditions. First, MC should be equal to MR. That is, marginal cost should be equal to marginal revenue. And a second condition is that MC curve must cut MR curve from below. So, these are the two conditions for monopoly to be in equilibrium. And here, MC should be equal to MR. This is one of the most important condition. But in case of monopoly, what we have is, we have price greater than MC is equal to MR. Why is this so? Because in case of monopoly, we have demand curve, which is average revenue curve, and that is downward sloping, and MR curve lies below MC, uh, AR curve. Simply graphically, how we can represent is, So here we have average revenue curve, which is also demand curve of monopoly. And this is downward sloping. And we have MR curve, which is below AR curve. And so first we have MC curve over here. And this is the equilibrium point. Now, how do we determine price in case of monopoly? So, the condition is a perpendicular to average revenue curve determines a price. And therefore, we in case of monopoly, we have this condition that is price is greater than MC is equal to MR. So, this is the point where MC is equal to MR. And both the conditions are satisfied that is MC is equal to MR and MC curve cuts MR curve from below. So, this is what is monopoly equilibrium. Now, let's look at our example. So, suppose for a monopolist, the following demand and total cost function are given. Find out how much he will produce and what price he will charge. So, we have two things over here. So, what is given is we have the demand function, which is. So, we have the demand function, which is Q is equal to 360 minus 20P. So, this is our demand function and we have the total cost function, this. So, our total cost function is 6q plus 0.05q square. So, total cost function is 6q plus 0.05q square. Now, what we need to find is we need to find how much he will produce and what price he will charge. So basically we need to find P and Q quantity. So monopoly will be producing that output where he will be uh, getting maximum profit. So we have seen that we have two conditions where he will be earning maximum profits.
so our mc should be equal to mr so in this case we need to find mc and mr so that he earn maximum profit now first we uh, firstly what we are going to do is we are going to find mc so now we have total cost as 6q plus 0.05q squared so total cost is equal to 6q plus we can also write 0.05 as 1 by 20 q square so this is our total cost and what is marginal cost marginal cost will be the formula for marginal cost will be derivative of total cost with respect to q so now we will be differentiating total cost with respect to q now the differentiation so for this we have already studied in our previous videos that the formula for differentiation this is one of the most important formula in differentiation so the formula is derivative of x raised to n is nx raised to n minus 1 so in this case first term is this q raised to 1 so here we have n is equal to 1 so differentiation of 6q will become what so first we will differentiate q because 6 is a constant so here we have 6q so that is 6 differentiation of q that is q raised to 1 in this case n is equal to 1 so we have this as 1 into q this is differentiation of q we are finding obviously this will be multiplied by 6 that is 6 into differentiation of q raised to 1 so n is 1 so 1 multiplied by q multiplied by 1 minus 1 is 0 so this will give rise to 6 because q raised to 0 is 1 so this is 6 plus 1 by 20 1 by 20 q square now in this case we have n is equal to 2 so similarly using the same formula we have n is equal to 2 so we have so differentiation of q square so n is equal to 2 we have 2 q raised to 2 minus 1 is 1 so this is 2q so this is differentiation of q square which is 2q what do we get is so we get mc is equal to 6 plus 1 by 10 q so this becomes a marginal cost similarly similarly we'll also find marginal revenue but for that what is given is we just have the demand function that is q is equal to 360 minus 20p using this we will find mr how so now what is given in our question is we have a demand function q as 360 minus 20 p so our demand function is q is equal to 360 
minus 20 p but we are going to find inverse demand function why are we finding inverse demand function because we want a mc and mr in terms of q so therefore we are finding inverse demand function so inverse demand function so inverse demand function would be 20p is equal to 360 minus q and therefore we will have p as 360 minus q divided by 20 And therefore we have price as, therefore we have P as 18, that is 360 upon 20 will be 18 minus Q by 20. So now we got P as 18 minus Q by 20. Now what we are going to do is we need to find total revenue. So, we know that total revenue is equal to price multiplied by quantity. So, we got P as eighteen minus Q by twenty multiplied by Q. So, what we get is our total revenue is equal to 18 into q is 18 q minus q square by 20 now what we need to find is we need to find marginal revenue so marginal revenue in this case would be differentiation of total revenue with respect to Q that is this. So we have our marginal revenue as that is 18 into Q. So now we have differentiation of this term that is 18 Q minus q square by 20. Now, we have already studied that this is the most basic formula in differentiation. That is differentiation of x raised to n is equal to nx raised to n minus 1. So now here in this case we have 18 into q that is q raised to 1. So because n in this case is 1 what we are going to do is 1 into q raised to 1 minus 1 is 0 and q raised to 0 is nothing but 1. Now next is we are going to differentiate q square. So differentiation of q square will be 2, n is 2 over here. So 2, q raised to 2 minus 1 is 1. So this is 2q. Now what do we get is, in this case we get mr is equal to 18 into q but the differentiation for q is 1 so we get 18 minus for q square we have 2q so we get 2q by 20 and therefore our marginal revenue becomes equal to 18 minus q by 10 2 ones are 2 tensor. So this is q by 10. 
So I'll write this over here. Marginal revenue is 18 minus Q by 10. So we have already seen that for monopoly to be in equilibrium or uh, we have this condition that is MC is equal to MR. This is where the monopoly will be earning maximum profit. So what we have seen is our marginal revenue is 18 minus Q by 10 and our marginal cost is 6 plus Q by 10. So 6 plus Q by 10 and 18 minus Q by 10. What do we get is, so we have 6 plus Q by 10, which is equal to MR is 18 minus Q by 10. So Q by 10 plus Q by 10. And this is 18 minus 6, which is equal to 12. And uh, Q by 10 plus Q by 10 will be equal to 2Q by 10. And therefore, what we get is Q is equal to 12 into 5. And 12 into 5 is 60. So we get our Q as 60. So this is the quantity that the monopolist will be producing. Now let's find P. So what do we get is we have uh, the value of P as so we got P is equal to 18 minus Q by 20. this 18 minus q by 20 and we are going to substitute the value of q in this case so q is equal to 60 so now substituting q is equal to 60 what we get is our price p will be equal to 18 minus 60 by 20. So this gives us P is equal to 18 minus 3. And therefore, P is equal to 15. So this is the output that a monopolist will be producing that is 60 units and the price he will charge is 15. Right. Now, what is asking question? Find out how much he will produce and what price he will charge. So, this is it. So, he will be charging 15 uh, rupees and the quantity that he will be producing is 60 units. This completes our answer. So, that's it for this video. Do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.